welcome all of you in city news today live see the lecture upon millets the students of dav khabda is detailing all the citizens of india i'm bhagat singh from class 8b a student of dav khabda muzaffarpur and i feel extremely pleasure to take this place in front of you all and present my perspective on millets also known as poor man's food and currently popular as shriyan throughout the nation We all are quite familiar with the fact that 2023 has proven to be a great year for millets. As the United Nations General Assembly at the 75th session has declared 2023 as the international year for millets. You all might be quite familiar with the fact that millets are a part of a grass family called poaceae. These small round whole grains are grown in India and Nigeria or we can also say in Asia and in Africa. All two variety of millets are from the same species called poaceae. They still differ in their appearance, size, and color, making them classified into two categories, which are large millets and small millets. The large millets include Pashra and Ragu, and the smaller one includes Sanwa and Moreli. These such millets are loaded with nutritional value, making it often recommended by dietitians and doctors to be included. in one diet as pick for cereal millets have a large number of health benefits such as it helps in controlling one's blood sugar level and cholesterol level they are rich in antioxidants and are soluble in fiber so a person suffering from celiac disease or a person who is sensitive to gluten can enjoy them they serve as a good source of protein micronutrients phytochemicals and dietary fibers Millets contain about 7 to 12 percent of protein, 65 to 75 percent of carbohydrate, 2 to 5 percent of fats, and 15 to 20 percent of dietary fibers. The essential amino acid profile of millet, which is protein, is better than many other cereals. Well, we have discussed enough about the positive factors related to millets, and now it's definitely time to talk about the potential drawbacks due to the consumption of millets. Also, millets have a large number of health benefits. They contain some anti-nutrient compounds, which reduces or blocks the absorption of many important and needed nutrients, leading to many deficiencies. One such anti-nutrient compound is phytic acid. Phytic acid interferes the uptake of magnesium, calcium, potassium, iron, and zinc. However, a person who have a balanced diet is not likely to suffer from any adverse effect. Well, since I'm talking about and discussing about the drawbacks and the benefits related to millets, many question must be arising in all of your mind. One such question might be that why is millet not cultivated in India or why is millet not so popular in India? Well, the answer is because of its competition with rice and wheat. Rice and wheat and have rice and wheat have now become a staple food of India and are largely available in market, making it tough for millet to compete with them. Another such question that why do the farmers of India do not cultivate them? Well, millets are grown in marginal marginal land, which is not suitable for many crops. However, the increased availability of modern varieties of the other staple crops have distracted the farmers. from growing millets and the very last question that everyone present in this room and every citizen of india might be facing that how has millet have become currently popular throughout all over the world wide well the answer is very simple and is current and is connected to the roots of the indian culinary history millets have been a quite essential part of the indian cuisine And millets are a much better and healthier choice than compared to other cereals present in the market. Moreover, they can be grown in any type of harsh climate, providing a solution for food scarcity. They also offer a promising livelihood to the small-scale farmers. It reduces the cons- it reduces the usage of fertilizers, conserves water, and is resilient to climate and and re- and replenishes the soil fertility. At last, I would like to conclude. From ancient times to modern days, millets for all ages. Thank you.